Hello, Cleveland Moto viewers and podcast listeners. Here we are wrapping up our demo ride of the Honda Goldwing. Uh, this happens to be the dual clutch transmission and the airbag for in, uh, sudden instances of explosive uh, explosive decompression uh, that airbags right there if you happen to experience a sudden loss of velocity and a sudden increase in impact that airbag is going to come out and keep you from flying into or over the vehicle you've just run into uh, bike up uh, the basic long and short of it is the bike is fantastic it does everything well unfortunately this demo ride sucks and I'm saying it sucks in the hardest possible way. Look at this. We have got traffic. And this is no fun way, you know. Granted, it's only 82 degrees out. and uh, But, I mean, this is a Thursday. This is a business day. And when you've got a Thursday and you've got heavy traffic, maybe this isn't the best time and place to be doing y'all's demo ride, right? And uh, we got a, some sort of a major traffic problem going on up here. So we're going to have to do some dipping and dapping. But, yeah, again. This is where we are. This is the life we live now. Uh, I, I would have recommended, you know, just the shortest, quickest route possible just to get your ass out of the city. Um, Columbus is a major metropolitan area, and it does have a lot of business downtown. And the event center, the AIM Expo, is all happening in downtown Columbus. And here we've got a block closed off entirely. Uh, that's not, I mean, I, honestly, this detour is not the worst thing that we've dealt with on this demo ride. This demo ride has been a lot of construction areas. This demo ride has been a lot of traffic. Um, there were a couple of areas where we were opened it up to as many as 45 miles per hour. But I have to say, I, you know, they say beggars can't be choosers. Well, I'm not getting to learn anything about this bike other than how it does at parking lot speeds. And boy, it does that really well. I mean, the AB, you know, the, the automatic transmission is working just beautifully. It's, uh, it's shifting up and down for me, so I don't have to do any shipping up, up and down with it. Um, I've just got an automatic mode at this point because I wouldn't be bothered to be changing gears manually. Uh, and it, the, the automatic transmission does. It works perfectly. It gives you the, the up and down as it sees fit, and it doesn't see fit incorrectly. Um, it's smooth. It's effortless. That's great. And uh, I can tell you that it is crazy light and crazy maneuverable and super, super light on its feet. It does all those things great. Uh, and the downside is I'm getting to learn probably more of that than I would need. I, uh, yes, this thing's got, it's got the low speed maneuverability in spades, not having a clutch and having a very well sorted DCT. Center of gravity on this thing is crazy low, so it does like the uh, the low speed maneuverability. It just loves it. So yeah, but right now this is the uh, this is the demo ride that won't end because and this is the last demo ride of the day too. Uh, went out on another demo ride earlier today, and if you get a chance to go to these types of events, in this this case the AIM Expo, I believe it will be here again Columbus next year. Uh, you get there early, so get there in. Uh, get there early in the game. Just look at that. That's a uh, number twenty-eight built of that particular BMW. So that's special that it's number twenty-eight. Um, I suppose it's just as special as number twenty-seven and number twenty-nine. Uh, it's probably number twenty-eight Vind for the American market. The uh, I don't know if that's the actual 28th unit to roll off the assembly line. I'm thinking probably not. Let's make a left here and see what happens, guys. Make sure the guy behind me on the Africa Twin doesn't run into me. Oh, and school bus time. Oh, yeah. So what you want in heavy traffic downtown Columbus, if you could possibly have it, is let's have some school buses, too. Because that just, ah, oh, that'll grind anything to a halt. Yeah. Here I am on one of the greatest motorcycles ever built. And it's tarnishing my review of the motorcycle because the traffic is so crappy. And the, uh, it's just, it's just the wrong place to do a demo ride. I... 
I take this as a note to myself in the future if I'm ever in charge of putting a demo ride together at all costs get them out of the city as fast as possible yeah let's get in front of that bus folks that would be paramount yeah you really don't get to experience too much of the motorcycle with the uh with the traffic the way it is uh it's uh earlier on i was playing in thrust we trust and it is kind of fun you uh in the automatic mode the uh not the manual mode in the regular automatic mode you stab it and when you stab it it goes stab and it's just like it it senses that you're stabbing it and it does give it like a quarter of a second of stabbing it in the gear you're in and then it just grabs like two gears lower to its suite. I mean, like, instantly it drops from fifth to third or what have you. So, uh, it's, it is clearly been set up to favor the sort of adventurous drivers or the more, uh, excitement-oriented riders, which is super cool. I mean, you're going to have a, a dual-clutch transmission. It should function like that, and it should still be happy when it's in automatic mode, which, be honest with it, most of the people that bought the automatic, uh, you know, the multi-geared vehicles that had that, most of the people do leave them in automatic. It's very rare that they put them in manual and drive them around in manual. So it's important that the automatic works great, and it, it needs to be fun and lively. And this certainly is fun and lively. I'm listening to the classicals to uh, keep me from becoming uh, ragey about the traffic. Hey, look at that! Wide open road. Oh, yeah, bring it on. Oh, you should be crushing it right now. Ugh, civility. Mm. I would have I would have made another decision, and I probably would have been yelled at for it, so we'll leave that the way it is. I would take... <laughs> I definitely would have been... I mean, this is the this is the parade of all these brand new Honda motorcycles, and they're all high powered. Everything in this parade is like Africa Twins and Gold Wings and stuff. So, I'm very surprised that that wasn't just an opportunity taken to, you know, do a little celebration of cool wind on our faces. But yeah, that's a uh, here's to uh, here's to the new Gold Wing DCT with the airbag. Uh, and all the Farkle and all the buttons. This is one of those things that, you know, if you buy this bike, you, you're that kind of guy, man. You're, you know, uh, you're not financing your last tattoo if you're buying this bike. This bike is a destination motorcycle. So, you know, if you're going to spend destination money, might as well get all the stuff. Uh, it would be interesting to see, like, what's the breakdown? What's the price difference between this and the true base model because this is everything I, I i you know i noticed this bike didn't have fog lights but i think that's the only thing it doesn't have so um, it's got the two-tone uh black and red paint and it is beautiful it's a gorgeous looking bike um, but i would i'd be interested to see what our price comparison is between the base model goldwing and this thing uh, it, it's it's wonderful it rides great it does everything exactly like the way you'd want it to be done and you know what else is cool about it is i don't feel any of the old wing uh old man vibe about this thing i feel like this bike really does you know even in automatic mode even in automatic mode it still really is happy uh, we'll go ahead and you know it's got you know sport mode touring mode rain mode all the modes uh, you click sport mode and you're in manual and it really does give you a lot of control. Uh, the sport mode ramps everything up and it does. The uh, It doesn't have the old wing. I mean, this is not an old man's gold wing. It's really a fun, fun bike that young people can appreciate and have that ability to go touring on it and go see, you know, things that are far away. And then when you get there, at least you're riding a bike that's kind of fun. Um, so many times, the bike that we take on... I swear to God, it changes the exhaust note when you go into sport mode. I would not be surprised to find out there was some exhaust enhancement. Yeah, I mean, that's like a light switch. So using that... Um, 
using that sport mode in, in manual, they're definitely putting on a little show for you. It's it's nice. I mean, considering the girth of this bike and, and the amount of space it displaces, it's a it's got a little got a little fun stuff happening there. I dig it. Yeah, super fun. And uh, you know, if you if you're under fifty and you want to still have a Goldwing riding experience, this is a great way to do it. It really is. It's fun to, uh, as you're riding, just you pick when it does the upshifts and let it give you the downshifts when it's serviceable, when it's required to do so. Um, that part of it's pretty neat. Um, just playing with it. And it's, that's all the, the driving modes are all shifted with your right hand. So you kind of go through there and pick your different driving modes. The touring, the touring mode is just dead smooth. I mean, it is, uh, it's fantastic. Now we'll go back into automatic mode, in touring mode, for that velvety goodness. And it is velvety goodness. Buying on. Got that traffic. Yeah, that 3.30, uh, that 3.30 ride time, man. That's tough. That's a tough beat. But, you know, hey, we're on a cool motorcycle having a good time it's pretty neat it's not raining and it's the end of September and nobody's wearing a sweater I mean that's a pretty pretty uh, neat thing in and of itself yeah fantastic alright guys remember to ride fast and take chances subscribe to this channel and you can catch all my updates as I put them we're going to have a bunch of other videos and a bunch of other stuff coming at you from the AIM Expo